All right, peace and blessings, guys. Peace and blessings. Mark the Messenger. We're back in our video. This one's going to be about 10 signs of demonic possession. I got a mic, guys. Let me know in the comments below if you guys can hear me clearly now. Um, finally came in, so hopefully that problem solved. But this is going to be the 10 signs of demonic possession. Guys, before I came into the Bible, I had demons I was fighting. So I'm going to be sharing my testimony, what I would experience. I was thrown in a mental hospital over 20 times. I'm going to make a video on that pretty soon. Maybe sometime next week or something like that. But um, it's going to be a long video. So these are some of the things when I was battling those demons, I what I could experience. And also some of this stuff is backed up with the Bible. Let's get Let's go. Don't forget to like the video, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Number one is unable to control themselves. Okay. When someone has demonic possession, it's very hard to control themselves. Because, and that's why we need the Holy Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit is what's going to help fight against these demons. Okay. Um, a vessel can't... Um, the Holy Spirit can't dwell within a vessel that is unclean, okay? One thing about demonic possession, use, most of the time, you know, I noticed when I had those demons, I was in unclean environments, okay? The Bible calls them unclean spirits. So I would recommend everyone, guys, make sure you're in a clean environment, a clean room. Uh, you, you know, now, of course, you want to make sure the outside is clean, but make sure the inside is inside is more. That's more important because Jesus talks about this in the cup. How uh, the Pharisees, they, they appear righteous on the outside. So on the outside, they were clean, but the inside, they didn't get the inside right, which is your spirit. So make sure you're getting your spirit right, spirit in check. Okay, one thing I noticed, guys, you're unable to control himself, lashing out anger, rage. Um, I mean, there's many things, you know, uh, let's say if you have an addiction, you just can't stop it. Guys, that could be a demon using your vessel. This is why we need the Son, Jesus Christ, to help us fight against these demons, to help us fight against our flesh, okay? Unders I made a video. Someone said, you know, Mark, what about the Because I made a video talking about how um, how to say the demon in someone. But sometimes, guys, you can have the demon in you. Okay, if you hate the truth, you're getting mad at someone who's speaking the truth. That's also be another sign of, you know, demonic possession. Demons don't want you to come to the light. Demons want you to stay stuck in darkness. So when someone comes your way and preaching the truth, this is not a sign, but this could be number 11, okay? When someone's coming your way, you try, to, you try to break you free from the matrix like a Morpheus, right? And you're not trying to hear it, that could be a demon not wanting you to hear it because I remember, oh, we're going in, okay? We're preaching today. All right, I remember, guys, this is um, like a year before I came into the truth, whatever, right? A uh, pastor, um, a church I was going to at the time, he knocked at my door. And this guy was, he was so genuine. So shout out to him. I don't know. I don't remember his name. I tried to go back to this church, but he, he I guess he moved. Uh, but he knocked on my door. He would check on me like every month and just see how I'm doing. He wasn't judgmental or nothing like that. He, he, he made a sermon talking about how we shouldn't be smoking weed anymore. No and back then, not only was I smoking, but I was also, uh, I don't want to trigger any algorithms, but I was, okay. Y'all know what I'm trying to say, right? Uh, so I was doing that, doing illegal things. And, um, and uh, he would come check on me like once a month and stuff like that. And I wasn't trying to hear him. Every time he knocked on my door, like, and I, I was just got done hitting it, you know, hitting the, the blunt. And I would make, I would not want to answer. And that was a demon. The demon, because he would come at me. He would be at the light. God sent him to be the light in my life. Okay. And that's why I made a video talking about not all churches are bad. There's some churches, guys, who actually care about you, who actually care about the people who are preaching church. But those demons that I had, guys, back then, they weren't trying to be free. I wasn't trying to be set free. And that's one thing, guys, a demon could do. It doesn't want you to be set free. So when someone's bringing forth the truth, humble yourself, okay? Understand, okay, God, you know, I'm struggling with this sin. Uh, give me strength, you know, have mercy and grace on me. And God will. God, God will give mercy to those who are merciful, okay? Number two is new personalities. One thing I noticed about demons and other people, Okay, they have a new personality every it's like a every other week you know one 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 day they're forgiving they're loving the next week the next day they're hateful like i'm telling y'all bro i experienced this especially a lot of relationships i was getting in back then okay the female very loving you know very submissive all that right and then the next week the next month this is like a whole new person a whole new demon <laughs> a whole new demon okay so that's a sign guys a demonic passion you got a new personality you know they call it multiple personality disorders okay and uh, we all know, or at least I'm going to go in with this number six, okay? M mental illness, guys, that is a sign of demonic possession, okay? They don't tell us this, but Mark the Messenger will tell you guys. Everything is spiritual, okay? The per mer multiple personality disorders and all that, by uh, border narcissism, borderline uh, personality disorder, all that, right? All linked to the de uh, demonic possession, okay? And this is what the, th the therapist won't tell you, okay? This is what they won't tell you because... They're not spiritual. Maybe they don't have the Holy Spirit. Now, I'm not saying all of them are like that. I'm pretty sure there's like a few, like 10 or two, you know, out of the millions of people, there's probably like 10 who would tell people the truth. But it's really guys linked to demons. And that's why I said we need the Son, Jesus Christ, to break us free from all demonic possessions, from all demons, get them out of our lives, our households. So, yeah, new personalities. Number three, 
would be speak with a different tongue voice okay uh in mark chapter 5 verse 9 i'll leave a verse right here talks about how um when the demon was talking to christ you know he said um we we are he said that we're legion and there, there's many you know um i don't know i don't know the whole verse by heart but i'll leave a verse right here somewhere and you know so the demons they could speak in a different tongue okay if you go on church if you go to like church videos and um you always have i should have bought a, i should have bought another another like we don't the bible says that when someone's speaking in tongues there must be an interpretation like someone who to interpret it okay most of the time like 99 percent of the time guys there's always someone speaking in tongue but there's no one to interpret it because how will we how was us um that are at, at the church be able to understand that okay so i'm not saying that's all demonic but that, you know always understand that de demons they speak with a different voice and tongue just like in the movies guys when like uh like the exorcism uh, if y'all watch that movie with that girl, I don't recommend anyone watch that movie. The movie is demonic. But the girl was speaking. She was speaking in a different voice, different tongue. So that's a sign of a demonic possession. Okay, number four is demons have supernatural knowledge. Yes, guys. Okay. Uh, Acts chapter 19, verse 15, verse 17. The demons told, um, said that, I'll leave a verse right here. It says, Peter, uh, Paul, I know. Jesus, I know. But who are you? So the demons know who's the ones who are anointed. Because in the spiritual realm, they can't harm. They can't harm the anointed one. They can't touch a prophet. So they know who could they could harm, who could they could touch. They can't touch the anointed one. They can't touch the prophets. So the demons, they knew who Jesus was. They knew who Paul was. They they had authority. They had they were fired fired up with the Holy Spirit. The demons knew. Oh heck, no, I can't mess with them. I can only mess with someone who's vulnerable, someone who's weak, someone who doesn't have the spirit of truth in them. Okay, the demons can only mess with them. So the demons, they have they have knowledge too. Okay, that's why when people call themselves spiritual and stuff like that, like that's cool and all. But demons are spiritual too. Demons have knowledge too. Okay, so that doesn't really mean much. Okay, that's what, that's why you must test the spirits. Okay, number five is suicidal and self harm. Yes, guys, when you are on the verge of wanting to harm yourself and hurt, you know, you know, like want to kill yourself and stuff like that. Um, just like in Judas, when Judas hung himself, guys, that was judgment of the Most High. I, a man with understanding understands everything. Okay, always understand that that was judgment when he went when he went against Jesus. Okay. And remember, what did Jesus call Judas? He was a devil. Okay, the Most High God put a spear on Judas to him, for him to do that, for him to kill himself. So that, that could be a demon, guys. That could be a, if you're always harming yourself, guys. And oh, like I said, guys, people could just say, "Oh, seek help." And okay, yeah, seek help, obviously. But how is your relationship with God like? How is your relationship with Jesus Christ like? Okay, the Bible says no man can come to the Father, no man can go to God, but first through the Son Jesus Christ. So how is your relationship? You got to get that right spiritually first. Like I said, demonic possession, guys, is linked to spirits. So always keep that in mind. All right. So if you're always having uh, suicidal thoughts or uh, or actually you know the, wanting to you know do that or you have self harm, guys, always understand that, guys. Don't let those demons win. The demons they want you to cut yourself. They want you to harm yourself. Don't let them. Don't don't feed into it, guys. And I understand they could be a plague in your mind, attacking your mind. And that's why, which I'm gonna go with number, uh, number the next one. Okay, is you got oh, there's demonic possessions and there's also demonic strongholds. The demonic strongholds in your mind could cause you to want to, you know, self harm. I can't write on the board because I'm holding this mic, but they want to cause you to, you know, hurt uh, hurt yourself and stuff like that. So always understand that demon possession and demonic strongholds. And the Bible talks about how we break a strongholds through obedience, obedience of Christ. Okay, number six is mental illness and chronic illness. Like I was saying earlier. Um, I, they diagnosed me with schizophrenia. They diagnosed me with bipolar type two back in 2015. And, um, I, back then I didn't know it was demons. I didn't know it was demonic possession. Uh, they just told me, you know, take medicine. I was not trying to take medicine. Uh, my dad always programmed me at a young age that, you know, never take the medicine and, uh, stuff like that. Never take it. He didn't throw me in the mental hospital. Someone else did, but, um, that is mental illness, guys. That is demons. And the Bible talks about this in De Deuteronomy chapter 28, how curses will overtake you because I wasn't keeping God's commandments. Um, so I, so now I'm keeping God's commandments. Now, now you see I'm getting blessed. But I, back there was a time where I wasn't. I was getting cursed and I was inheriting that. OK, that verse is that chapter is talking about the Hebrews that we would go through the curses. OK, and best believe, guys, a the, it talks about there's a verse, a plague of the mind. All those curses, guys, not all of them, but, you know, a lot of them I went through. The mental, and that's God's judgment on my disobedience. That's God's judgment on a person's sins. Guys, depression in the Bible is never mentioned of uh, a, a mental health. It talks about uh, God's judgment on a, per, on a person's sins. Okay, the Bible even talks about, um, I believe his name was Saul. I believe his name was Saul. Forget. I'll leave a, ver uh, a picture right here. And um, the Holy Spirit was a, took, God took away the Holy Spirit from him, and demons came to torment him. So he was battling with depression. He was bat battling with so much stuff. Okay, and that was God's judgment on his sin because he was trying to uh, kill David. He was trying to get him killed. All right, and David, if you read that chapter, guys, 
and uh, Samuel, like David, had, even though the miss of him trying to kill him, David had love for him, bro. David didn't want to see him, you know, do what he was doing, but demons overtook him. Okay, number seven is negative thoughts, uh, negative emotions, and fear. Okay, the Bible says that God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power of love and sound mind. And when you start to get those negative thoughts, guys, and negative emotions, like I was saying earlier, demonic strongholds. So demonic possession and demonic strongholds, okay? We must cast down all strongholds, guys. And understand, when you're watching uh, horror movies that have, that see, you, you could get demonic strongholds, guys. You got to guard your eyes. You got to guard what you're watching, okay? Um, you could get strongholds through many things. Maybe certain people pl uh, planning certain stuff in your mind. Okay, um, you know, watching porn, that could get building strongholds. You know, and the more you watch it, that could build strongholds too. So always keep that in mind, guys. And, you know, like I said, those could all be thoughts of, you know, if you always have negative, you're always negative all the time, guys, that's a demon. That is a demon. Okay, number eight is you get tired of reading your Bible. Um, you get tired of reading. You notice how when we, when we watch like, like Netflix or we watch a movie, whatever, right? Watch a TV show, like we're wide awake. But once we start to read the Bible, we start to get tired, sleepy. We start to yawn. That could be a sign of demonic possessions. That could also be a sign of demonic strongholds in your mind. Okay, this would happen to me a lot, guys. Literally, I would be reading other books and I'd be perfectly fine. The minute I read my Bible, because remember, the demons don't want you to be set free. They don't want you to be the, the truth. The truth sets you free, which is the word of God. So the demons don't want you to be free. So what does the demons do? You know, get, try to get you to fall asleep. Try to get you, you know, be sleepy and tired. Okay, I remember this like yesterday. When I first started reading my Bible, where I'm telling you within like five, ten minutes, I would get sleepy and tired. So start to yawn out of nowhere. Like what the heck? So now I gain understand. Now I gain wisdom. I'm like, oh, okay, those are just the demons not wanting to be set free. Okay, so always understand that when you come into the truth, start learning about God and stuff like that. You start to read your Bible and you start to get tired and sleepy. Okay, always understand that, that could be a demon, you know, just messing with you. Okay, number nine is worshiping idols and false religions. Okay, um, like I said earlier, Jesus is the only way to God, not Muhammad, not um, or Prophet Muhammad, not Mary. All these other idols, okay? It's only through Jesus Christ. And even if you're a follower of Christianity, the image that they show you guys, uh, which is not even Jesus Christ, that is uh, the Pope's son, Caesar Borgia. I leave an image right here, okay? If you're worshiping this, guys, that could also open up demons into your household because the Bible says we're not supposed to have graven images, okay? So this right here, guys, is not Jesus Christ. The Bible says in, in the book of Revelation, chapter 1, how uh, how a description how jesus christ looked like and he doesn't look nothing like that picture okay so we got to throw away these idols throw away any graven images okay if you're worshiping that type of stuff guys i could open demons in in your house false religions okay what does a lot of people are confused okay what because the, the the word religion is not mentioned in the old testament it's mentioned in the new testament what is what is religion according to the bible okay it is the teachings of the undefiled of religion it is the, the teachings of jesus christ okay Jesus, Jesus Christ didn't come on earth to establish Christianity. Okay, He says to follow, deny your, pick up your cross, deny yourself, and follow Him. That is what being a Christian is all about, and obeying His teachings. Okay, all this extra stuff. It's just like the Bible is simple. God is simple. He gives us basic instructions. Okay, simple. Okay, it's all what it's all about. Denying yourself, picking up your cross. Now, the cross is that a cross that you wear on your neck? No. Cross. It, it, what the cross means is you know going through the burdens of being a follower of Jesus Christ. People hating on you. Uh, the Bible says that you'll be hated by all men because of me. Um, you know, people not wanting to be around your, be your friend no more. You know, stuff like that. Denying your flesh, fighting against your flesh, fighting against that type of stuff, right? That is what picking up your cross is. Not warring a cross. That is a graven image. I try to tell people this all the time, but the spirit of truth is not in most people. It's not in most people, so they're not able to understand it. So, all right. Number 10. It says, when your mind, your heart, when your mind and your heart that loves to do evil, or uh, loves to do evil, harm, or hurt other people, guys, that could be a demon, okay? That could be a devil. <laughs> Shoot, that could be. If you love to see people suffer, if you love people to see get harm or to hurt people, and that, that's all in your mind, that's all in your heart, that's all in your conscious, always understand that that could be a demon causing you to do that type of stuff. So, guys, you got to be careful out here. If you have a, if your heart, you got to rebuke that, guys. Rebuke all demonic spirits that are coming in your life. Rebuke all of it, okay, guys? Remember, this is the 10 signs of demonic possession. Number one is unable to control themselves. Number two is new personalities. Number three is uh, speak with different tongue and voice. Number four is demons have supernatural knowledge. Number five is uh, suicidal self-harm. Number six is mental illness, chronic illness. Number seven is negative thoughts and emotions and fear. Number eight is you get tired of reading your Bible. Number nine is worshiping idols and false religions number 10 is a mind and a heart that loves to do evil or harm or hurt others others so i hope you guys learned a lot from this video if you have already make sure you guys smash the like button subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below i'll try to read every comment and let me know guys if the mic quality is good if you guys wish to support me my links are down below in the description i love you guys so much i am out peace